Hello zusammen, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well. I filmed another video to go up this week, but given everything that is happening in Germany, how the situation has escalated very quickly, I wanted to make this video and I did ask you guys if you wanted an update on what's happening here and the majority of you said yes, so I wanted to talk about it. Now, for the sake of not being demonetized by YouTube, I'm not going to mention the that we are talking about, but I'm sure um, you can all understand between the lines what I am referring to. So yeah, last time I talked about this was only two weeks ago and the situation in Germany has escalated very, very quickly. Germany is now number six for having the highest number of cases. Um, so it has just gone like this very, very fast, and I don't think any of us expected it to get so out of control so quickly. When I originally made that first video only two weeks ago, a lot of people were saying that I was overreacting and that, you know, it's not that serious, but now I think we can all agree that the situation has gotten very serious and more serious measures have to be put in place. And I am happy to say that Germany and Berlin have started to take more active measures right now to control the situation and to um, control, you know, the spreading of this um, sickness or illness. Let me talk about what's been going on and what I know so far. Of course, the stories and the information that we get changes every single day, but Germany now has well over 3,000 cases and earlier this week Merkel did say that she expects 60 to 70 percent of the German population to get this sickness. So that is definitely a substantial amount and definitely freaked out a lot of people or at least made a lot of people a lot more aware of the gravity of the situation and especially once things started to unfold in Italy so rapidly and once the quarantine happened, I feel like people in Germany and Berlin started to take it seriously here as well and started taking more um, active precautions themselves. Now, as of right now, when I am filming this, which is Saturday, March 14th, um, Germany has not um, announced a quarantine uh, yet, I mean, it could happen, especially if the cases start to escalate even more. But what has been done is that Berlin has started to take uh, more active measures. Now, I'm only referring to Berlin, of course, because that's where I live and um, that's what I'm aware of. But um, I'm sure, of course, other German states and cities are starting to take a lot more initiatives as well. If you are living in those states, please let us know in the comments what it's like for you uh, because it can definitely be helpful to everyone in the area or maybe anyone looking to travel there or who has family there. Um, I know that that could be helpful as well. So yesterday Berlin did announce that all schools and kitas or kindergartens will be closed until April 20th. Also the transportation, uh, the public transportation is going to be running on emergency services. So uh, transportation will be limited, which I think is an excellent, excellent move because obviously it uh, de-incentivizes or doesn't incentivize people to get on public transportation and to really just stay at home and self-quarantine. Also in Berlin from Tuesday on all bars, clubs and pubs have to close until April 20th as well. Um, so I know I've been getting a lot of questions if I think you know the grocery stores will also do this and what's going to happen there. Nothing has been officially announced as of yet, but I have gone to the grocery store to pick up some extra things. And I can tell you that people are definitely buying out all of the pasta, the basic necessities like oatmeal, 
um, a lot of milk, a lot of cleaning supplies are gone. Toilet paper is definitely gone as well. So people are stocking up and buying in bulk now um, just in the event that they're not able to get their hands on it or there is a quarantine set in place. And of course, this is not unique to Germany. If you look anywhere on the news, you'll see that many other cities across many other countries are going through the same thing. So people are definitely bulk buying right now. And if you haven't prepared yet, I highly, highly recommend that you go to your grocery store or go to, go to multiple grocery stores and just stock up on some basic essentials. I'm not saying go ahead and buy out everything. Please don't do that. There are a lot of people in need that do also need those things. Um, elderly people, families, people who maybe didn't prepare in advance who would like to have access to these basic necessities. So please don't go out and buy, you know, bulk of everything, 20,000 rolls of toilet paper, a bunch of pasta, buy a couple of things, just be prepared, but leave some for the rest of the people as well, because I know that this has been a huge issue globally and we all need to help out each other. Um, so I just wanted to say that, but yes, if you go to the grocery stores, you'll definitely see that shelves are empty right now. Now, in terms of work, um, for myself and for my boyfriend, and I know a lot of companies, um, they are allowing their employees to start working from home starting on Monday, March the 16th. For my work, um, we've been told that we could have to work from home for up to six weeks. We're really unsure now what's gonna happen and how this is all gonna develop, but um, we have been told you know, to prepare to stay at home for a while. And I am very, very grateful that I have a job that allows me to do this and that I am able to work from home. I know, of course, there's a lot of people out there that don't have this type of luxury. But yeah, it, it's definitely um, escalated. I'm not going to say that I myself have been very calm <laughs> throughout this whole process. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I've probably gone on a couple of rants here and there because... Um, obviously this escalated extremely fast and I also have not been feeling very good this last week. I actually stayed home for the whole week because I was feeling, you know, a lot of chills, a lot of body pain, a little bit of a sore throat. So I was like, no, I'm not going anywhere. So I essentially did self quarantine and I did actually want to get tested myself and I'm finding it quite difficult to be able to get a hold of um, anyone. So for instance, there is a hotline that you can call in Berlin and you will be told whether or not you should go and get tested based on the symptoms that you have. But from what I'm hearing, it's very, very difficult to get through this hotline. And even if you say you have certain symptoms, sometimes they don't encourage you to go get tested. So I personally was a bit worried and a bit frustrated with this just because, um, you know, I wasn't feeling good. And so I, I did want to take the extra precautions and get tested just to see because I've heard that a lot of these symptoms can be a bit silent. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a cough or high fever, um, anything as simple as, you know, body pain or even like a slight sore throat can lead to it. So again, not trying to freak you guys out. I'm just telling you from my experience. Um, and really it seems like the only option is to go to the actual testing locations and wait there for several hours, um, which is obviously not ideal because let's say even if you go there and you don't have it, of course you increase your chances of getting it just by exposure of being around everyone else. I personally will not be doing that. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I have a history of breathing problems and asthma when I was younger and even when I moved to Berlin three years ago, I was having really bad breathing problems. I think it was due to the pollen and I've mentioned this before. So I will not be going to the hospital and wait because I don't wanna put myself in any more risk. Um, so I do understand how this can be a bit frustrating uh, because 
we don't really have much option right now. We sort of just have to wait it out. Obviously, if you have very severe symptoms, um, you have the option to call an ambulance. Um, so yeah, that's something you can do. But other than that, it's either you go to the hospital and wait, or you just sort of wait it out at home and um, self-quarantine and just take care of yourself that way, um, which is the option that I will be doing right now. Again, my symptoms are not severe or anything like that. Um, it, it's just, it is what it is right now. <laughs> so just take it easy and I'm just gonna be staying away from people. I'm not going out and I'm just gonna be at home. I have actually heard from other expats in Berlin that they were able to call their country's embassy and their embassy is offering testing to them. So they're able to send a doctor to them and get tested um, if they are concerned. I did call the Canadian embassy and they're not offering that type of testing at the moment, but uh, maybe you can call your own embassy if you are really worried and see if they are offering any additional services uh, because that could be an option for you. Obviously, I'm not like super pumped up in this video today. I'm sure you guys can tell. I'm just trying to process the information probably as much as you guys are trying to process it. But um, I'm also trying to not consume too much of the media because I was doing that earlier on in the week and I was getting a bit freaked out and a bit down and I was just constantly on my phone looking through things and refreshing pages and getting the latest updates and I don't think that's the healthiest, you know, for your mental health and for stress levels that can also make you sick. So if you do find yourself going through a down world spiral of looking for updates constantly, I would highly recommend to limit it or at least be quite mindful of the platforms that you do consume your media on because it can definitely get overwhelming. Also, please try to limit the amount of times that you go out right now, if you are in Germany or really anywhere, um, try to stay indoors as much as possible, even if there isn't an official quarantine. I think it's super important right now um, to of course, not only practice good sanitation methods and cleaning your hands and taking care of yourself that way, but also social distancing is going to help dramatically if you can just stay at home and stay away from everybody because again, these symptoms can take a long time to develop just because of the incubation period and you don't wanna put other people's lives at risk. I know some people are saying, oh, but I'm young and I'll recover quickly and I'll be fine and you know, it's, it's not that serious for my age group, but please uh, keep the elderly people in mind. They matter as well and they're, immune systems are not as strong as possibly yours could be. And also those with autoimmune disorders, heart conditions, breathing issues, uh, please be mindful of them as well and try to stay at home and just try to do self quarantine as much as possible and as much as you are able to. I think it's so important right now for us to unite, work together and help each other out. But yeah, guys, that's essentially what's happening right now in Berlin, in Germany, I'm sure things will develop um, very quickly in terms of new reports and maybe new measures that the country will need to take. But I wanted to give you this update. If you want more real time updates from me, um, feel free to follow me on my Insta. I'm always posting there. Um, I'll leave the link down below. And if you want more updates on my channel, please let me know as well. Like I said, I had filmed another work related video um, to go up today, but I just didn't feel like it was appropriate just given everything that's happening. But let me know what kind of content you wanna see. Do you want more updates? Do you want more work related videos? Let me know and I'd be happy um, to keep you guys posted on that. But thank you so much. Please stay safe out there, take care of each other, and I will see you all in my next one. Cheers.